Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Thing with your host, Bailey. How's it going everybody? I have a really cool, uh, I have a really cool, my brain. I have a really cool design for you guys today. Um, this one, I'm going to write it down right now. This one is number 22 of the 30 Days of Nailoween. This one is super cool. It's a, it's in my head. You guys will know by the thumbnail if it works. I think it's going to work, but we're gonna see. Um, this is a 3D Jack Lantern, but this one actually has a blinking light inside. And I'm going to show you guys how we achieve that right now. So, go down. All right. Hey, everybody, hands. Okay. So, before I get into my materials, I'm going to show you guys. So, I don't know if you guys remember these from a previous haul video of mine these are called and I'll leave it down below these are called NFC LED lights these are nail sticker lights and I'm I'm not sure if um, iPhone has this option but um, if you have a Samsung and you go to your drop down menu here you'll see this little feature right here, NFC, and you turn that on, and your battery is now emitting a signal. And, oh, fail, there we go. Has to be over the right position. So the battery feeds the LED, and the LED has certain little uh, blinky patterns that it goes through. So this is super fun for people that have Samsung phones. So we're going to do that today. And what I'm uh, trying to achieve is a, you know, a jack-o'-lantern that has some color inside of it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right. So I am using a plain white tip today and I have actually used, I don't know if you guys can see, I used a file to extra roughy it up so that the sticker actually sticks because we're going to encapsulate this. So I'm going to, if my nail will catch it, I'm going to remove the adhesive off the back. And the adhesive is actually a lot thicker than the actual sticker part. And it doesn't matter what way you put it, but I'm going for like the center of the nail. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure that like your base layer of your nail is like wiped or finished file before you encapsulate anything or put any color over top because if you put this on a sticky layer, it won't stick. And if you file through any of this band, um, your sticker basically won't work. So Always keep your little NFC thing handy to make sure that you still blink. There we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, well, I don't know. You guys want me to do it on camera, off camera. Um, so I'm going to take some builder gel. And... We're going to encapsulate... I've done this personally on myself. I made one of these into like a lighthouse. I don't know if you guys remember that. But you want to give it a decent cover. But you got to make sure that this is in the nail. You can do it like on top of the nail topically. It's probably not going to last as long as you want it to, you know? So, 
And I'm not going to worry about any bubbles or anything because I'm going to go over this with color and things like that. So I'm going to let that sort of self level. I'm going to give it a, a upside down turn. So I have very minimal filing and kind of let that get level just like that. And then I'm going to pop it in my light and I'm going to cure it for two minutes and I will be right back. And we're back. Okay. So, um, I need some more paper towel. Guys, I run out of my like wipes so fast. I don't know what to do. It's like never ending. You know, like I buy like seven sleeves at a time and they're gone. Just gone. All right. So I'm going to wipe away the tacky layer. Ooh. Okay, so one thing I have, I'm going to actually mention to you guys. You see this piece right here? Totally didn't even cure. So now I've got to add some on the back there. Does anybody else that has sun, U, sun 5 UV lights, does anybody else have that problem or is it just me? Like there are certain parts of the nail that, you know, won't cure like I have problems with like people's thumbs curing all right so I'm going to cure that again and I will be right back again you guys I did it again I was talking to myself the whole darn time and I forgot to unpause so now you guys have to wait 37 seconds to actually see what I flip and did. So I don't know if the part recorded, but uh, I buffed the, I wiped the nail and I buffed the nail to make sure that, you know, we didn't uh, penetrate the, uh, the encapsulation. We double checked it. It still blinks. Um, I've gone in with, one six one three and i have covered and i'll show you guys in eight seconds when the light goes off um i've covered the majority of the nail with black and there we go lights out so this is how i have covered it i've covered everything except the led lights because that is what we need to remain exposed so now here comes my my weird method. I'm going to take builder gel again, but this time I'm going to, where did I put it? I'm going to grab a dotting tool and I'm going to apply my pumpkin with a dotting tool and builder gel because I want my pumpkin to have a little bit of like those pumpkin roll texture, you know what I mean? And the clear. Of the builder gel. Is going to one, make it 3D ish and two when we go to paint over top of what we want to paint, it's going to allow the light to sort of penetrate or amplify, if that makes sense. I'm gonna flash cure this. For 30. So I've kind of made two parallel lines next to each other. 
some 30, not 60. Oh my gosh. I've cleaned my lamps so much on the top that like the numbers are almost gone. So I always I have to like rewrite them or something. Uh, that should be good. Just enough to freeze it. So I don't know if you guys can kind of see. Do you see that? Right? And I'm going to do another one. Sort of parallel to it. And then I'm going to freeze this one for 30 seconds. I'm going to really put my hand in the light. Don't mind me, guys. I'm going to chew a piece of ice in your ear. I have a problem, guys. I can't stop eating ice. Does anybody know what that means? Anybody? Uh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Cool. All right. We might have to use a little bit of the drill on this because this is a, a self-leveling gel or a semi self-leveling gel it's kind of running into itself but we do have that rough shape that I want which is good all right so I do have like a weird base pumpkin shape I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds, come back, and we're going to do another layer to make it more 3D. All right. So I don't know if you guys can kind of roughly see the pumpkin shape. So now I'm going to go back over the two center ones, but I'm going to do it individually this time. So I get that good... sort of 3D look that I'm looking for. So I've kind of done like a big fat worm there and I'm going to let this cure fully and then do the next one and then we'll come back. All right, okay, sweet. And close up my builder gel. All right, so now I'm going to wipe this because once I wipe it, you should be able to see a little better. All right, see, we kind of have that pumpkin shape and it's like 3D. I love it. So now, now that we've got that little bit of a base, I'm going to take 1568, which is a pumpkin orange, and... I'm going to take my Sheila and I'm going to load my brush on my tile. I have the hiccups and I am going to draw a pumpkin face over the 3D. I want that eye to be bigger. So where, like when you're doing this pumpkin, where there would be black, quote unquote, you want to leave the space negative so that when the light goes off it like goes off as in like blinks then you'll get that light through there instead of you know just having nothing and i'm also going to i want to kind of leave like a little bit of like, what's the word? I want to leave like 
a little bit of the cracks maybe I don't know we'll see how it goes and I've got something really cute for the stem too that I had in mind have a happy pumpkin <laughs> because what's Halloween without a happy pumpkin and I'm hoping that this is going to work Definitely going to need to do um, a second coat of the orange. Because as you can see, it's not... that opaque and we don't want the light to like you know show completely through we just want it to show through the openings of our pumpkin right so the eyes the mouth the nose all right so i'm gonna leave my little pumpkin like that I'm going to cure it and I'm going to do a second coat off camera and then we'll come back and we'll finish the stem. All right, so I am waiting for the second layer of my orange to cure and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do for the stem. So I actually have, I have just a little section here to show you guys what it originally looks like. This is some like green iridescent um, like ribbon that you would use to like tie up a gift. Um, so I have cut out a little iridescent stem shape and I've also cut a piece into like these strips and I'm actually gonna take my scissors and you know do what we used to do in like you know elementary school and I'm gonna curl them like this I probably won't use all three but It never hurts to have enough. So I'm just like putting my blade against it and then pulling and scoring and that causes it to go all curly. All right, so there we go. Second coat. Oh gosh, I really hope this works. All right, um, so now um, I'm gonna use a little more of the builder gel to attach this ribbon up here and I'm just gonna kind of brush it in a little bit of a square here and I'm gonna pick up my little stem oh it definitely needs to go all the way to the top that stem is a little big Or maybe the stem needs to be cut a little shorter, if you please. There, okay. So, uh, 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 there we go, like that. And then I'm gonna go, oh, even that's too much, oh my goodness. Here, let's, uh, Nip. Snip that and attach this like this and then take this little one and attach it on the other side. Oh, 
Let me put the bowl get off of my brush. Oh, get off my brush. Come on. Cooperate. Okay. Maybe we'll go. Ah. Let go. I hate when stuff just doesn't, like, you know, listen. So, we're going to lay those down like that. I'm going to cure it. I'm going to no wipe top coat it and around these little ribbons. And then we're going to come back and see. Oh, no, wait. I'm going to add a little bit. I'm going to cure this. And then I'm going to add a little bit of, like, we'll, we'll flash cure that for 30. Well, I wipe my brush, I'll explain. I almost forgot to add little details onto like the lines of the pumpkin. Does that make sense? Line, lines of the pumpkin? No? Does that mean, I don't know. My brain hurts sometimes and it hurts to like, you know, try and be like, yes, this is exactly what I'm thinking. But then my brain just goes and my mouth tries to compute and it doesn't. So yeah, that's my terrible analogy. Okay, a little bit of black to accentuate. That's what I'm trying to do. So just a little bit on the tip of my brush. Because making it 3D was, no, it was not enough, no. We're going to help out the eye by Making the lines a little more, you know, prominent. And then I'm going to pull some black here and there to make it look a little distressed. But not over top of the eye hole. There. There we go. A little bit over here. There, okay, so now I'm gonna cure that and then I will top coat it and we'll come back and see if my plan has worked. All right, there it is all top coated. It looks even like just super cute like that. But I have turned off the big light, ooh. All right, ooh, did it not cure? Oh no, we're good. Um, I'm just gonna hit that with a file. It's one of the poopy things about using sticky tack when it comes to gel. All right, so I am going to turn the light off and hope Okay, okay. Oh wait, did I turn the thing on? I think I turned it off. Oh, no. Wrong phone. I'm gonna refresh this. It's on. I'm gonna flip it over. <gasps> okay. Here we go. Yeah, hopefully this works. Can we see it? Sort of. Trying to get it to blink. Bright. No? Okay. Maybe this will work better. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it so freaking much. Oh my gosh. It worked, guys. Oh, I'm so proud. Yay. Okay, so <laughs> that is my little version there of a 
blinky jack-o'-lantern. It's weird how, like, the pattern on the light kind of is different, you know what I mean? There, see? Intense, blink, blink. Here, let's... <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, okay, awesome. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial because I certainly enjoyed experimenting with that and I love it when things turn out so great. Anywho, um, 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 I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like up this video, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'm gonna go ahead and get to number 23 because like I said, we're starting to get into the interesting things now. So I hope you all stay tuned and stay jazzy.